Hello and welcome to the Monday Midday Market Report. Firstly, looking at how the US finished up the week on Friday and technology stocks propelled the US to all-time highs after Alphabet posted strong results and a jump in gross domestic product failed to deter expectations that the Federal Reserve will cut rates next week. The S&P 500 gained 0.7 of 1% to close at 3,025, posting a record high. The, the Nasdaq also hit an all-time high, that rose 1.1% to 8,330. Google's parent Alphabet, as I said, reported better than expected earnings and announced a massive $25 billion share repurchase program. The results um, and buybacks sent the stock up 9.6%. Twitter shares gained more than 8% on the back of second quarter results that topped estimates. And consumer stocks such as Starbucks and McDonald's also contributed to the gains. The coffee company gained 8.9%. The US Economy, well, that expanded by 2.1% in the second quarter, and that's the broadest measure of the US economy, and expected to come in at 1.8%, so that exceeded expectations. Gross was driven by 4.3% increase in consumer expenditure, which offset a 5.5% slump in business investment. Moving to Australia today, and the Australian stocks have bounced back after the US lead. The S&P ASX 200, that rose 0.1% to 6,803 points. And sector performance has seen technology stocks follow the strength of their US counterparts, with the tech sector up 1.54% today at midday. Amongst our best performers for the day, Vocus Group and Speedcast International were up 4.3% and 3.6% respectively, and Afterpay added 3.3%. Our worst performers at midday, Credit Corp and GUD Holdings, both down about 5%. Weakness in financials has limited the market's upside, with the big four banks down between 0.2 and 0.5 of a percent. Lastly, the Aussie dollar, that was steady at 69.06 US cents.